Hi, welcome to another video. So, Anthropic has launched their new Claude 4 Sonnet and Opus models. This is the first Opus model we've seen since the Claude 3 Opus model, as there wasn't any Opus model in the newer variants. But now, in the Claude 4 lineup, we have both the Opus and the Sonnet models. They say, Today, we're introducing the next generation of Claude models. Claude Opus 4 and Claude Sonnet 4, setting new standards for coding, advanced reasoning, and AI agents. Claude Opus 4 is the world's best coding model, with sustained performance on complex, long-running tasks and agent workflows. Claude Sonnet 4 is a significant upgrade to Claude Sonnet 3.7, delivering superior coding and reasoning while responding more precisely to your instructions. Apart from the Sonnet 4 and Opus 4 models, we also have some new paradigms in these models, like extended thinking with tool use. They say that both models can use tools, like web search, during extended thinking, allowing Claude to alternate between reasoning and tool use to improve responses. It also allows both models to use tools in parallel follow instructions more precisely, and, when given access to local files by developers, demonstrate significantly improved memory capabilities, extracting and saving key facts to maintain continuity and build tacit knowledge over time. They also say that Claude 4 is now generally available. After receiving extensive positive feedback during their research preview, they're expanding how developers can collaborate with Claude. Claude Code now supports background tasks via GitHub Actions and native integrations with VS Code and JetBrains, displaying edits directly in your files for seamless pair programming. They also mention releasing four new capabilities on the Anthropic API that enable developers to build more powerful AI agents, the Code Execution Tool, MCP Connector, Files API, and the ability to catch prompts for up to one hour. Basically, it can do what O3 can do within the ChatGPT interface, but now via API as well. It allows you to give it tools, and it can call those tools in the reasoning traces itself and do reasoning over those tasks, which is the same as what we saw in O3 as well. Both of these models are hybrid models, offering two modes, near-instant responses and extended thinking for deeper reasoning. The Pro, Max, Team, and Enterprise Claude plans include both models and extended thinking, with Sonnet 4 also available to free users. Both models are available on the Anthropic API, Amazon Bedrock, and Google Cloud's Vertex AI. Pricing remains consistent with previous Opus and Sonnet models. Opus 4 at $15 and $75 per million tokens, and Sonnet 4 at $3 and $15. So yes, the pricing hasn't gone down at all and remains the same as the previous model. Opus is extremely pricey, like too pricey, which is just bad. I would have liked to see the price come down, but that hasn't happened here which is kind of disappointing for sure. Now let's talk about the model benchmarks. But before we do that, let me tell you about On Demand. On Demand is an all-in-one ultimate AI operating system that can help you create AI agents and AI automation workflows in literal seconds. You can create a bunch of actionable agents like social media posting agents for LinkedIn, Instagram, and Twitter. Or you can also build agents for automated trading and anything else you'd want. And it's not just that, because On Demand also has an agent flow builder that allows you to assemble agents, model endpoints, fulfillment prompts, and chat prompts into one cohesive workflow. You can schedule these workflows to execute at custom intervals like every minute, hourly, 
daily, weekly, monthly, or anything like that. It even has an advanced voice mode, which allows you to make voice agents, which is amazingly cool. You can also make it deliver outputs via email, Slack, or actionable agents. Currently, they are giving out free $50 credits that you can use to try it fully free and get some pretty cool stuff made with it. So, make sure that you check them out and start building some great stuff now. Now, back to the video, we can see that on the SWE bench, Sonnet actually performs a tad bit better than Opus, which is quite interesting to see, and it is obviously better than the previous Sonnet. But as you see more benchmarks, you can see that Opus 4 is not as good as you would want, because it's like about a 5% improvement, or a max of 10% improvement, which is kind of underwhelming for sure. But maybe it's not able to be seen on benchmarks, and it might actually be great in practice. Claude Code is also now better. Now, as I said before, there are some new tools that it can use in reasoning itself, which are the Code Execution Tool, MCP Connector, as well as the Files API. Code Execution will allow Claude to basically run code, see the response, and use that accordingly in its reasoning, which is awesome but it costs more. For this, you will receive 50 free hours of usage with the code execution tool per day, then pay 5 cents per hour per container for additional usage. This will not be turned on by default in the API, so there's that. They have also made MCP usage more streamlined, enabling developers to connect Claude to any remote model context protocol server without writing client code. Previously, connecting to MCP servers required building your own client harness to handle MCP connections. Now, the Anthropic API handles all connection management, tool discovery, and error handling automatically. Simply add a remote MCP server URL to your API request and you can immediately access powerful third-party tools, dramatically reducing the complexity of building tool-enabled agents. So, this is cool, as you can use anything that supports anthropic models with MCP easily, which is quite awesome. It also has a new files API that allows you to store and access documents when building with Claude. Instead of managing file uploads in every request, you can now upload documents once and reference them repeatedly across conversations. The Files API will integrate with the Code Execution tool, enabling Claude to access and process uploaded files directly during code execution and produce files, such as charts and graphs, as part of the response. This means developers can upload a dataset through the Files API once then have Claude analyze it across multiple sessions without re-uploading. There's also extended prompt catching that allows you to choose between their standard 5-minute time to live for prompt catching or opt for an extended 1-hour TTL at an additional cost. A 12x improvement that can reduce expenses for long-running agent workflows, which is also pretty awesome. The model is obviously amazing to see, and it is now available on the Claude platform and API platform. It is not yet available on Open Router, but should be available super soon. However, the Sonnet is available on Requesty, and it gives you a $5 free credit. You can use it through Klein and RuCode for coding, and I'll do a separate video on it as well. But once it becomes available on Open Router, you should also be able to use it via Kilo Code with the free $20 credit that you get with it. This means you should be able to use Claude 4 with Kilo Code, which is basically a merge of Klein and RuCode and brings the best features from both into one. You can use the free $20 credit to use it and do coding with these models, which is kind of cool for sure. Another thing is that Claude Code is now integrated with VS Code, meaning that if you use Claude Code, then it will automatically open up Diff View in VS Code. It isn't a proper extension, but that's fine. 
It is also now integrated with GitHub, and you can install a bot there, and you can just tag Claude in GitHub, and it autonomously do the stuff for you. And there's also the Claude Code SDK as well. So, you can use that accordingly, and let me know if you want a proper video on the Claude Code updates. So, these are the major things about it, and I'll talk more about it in the next videos. So, stay tuned for them. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.